Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Well, today we're starting Edge's Tale. Go ahead and scroll down to it here. So, you know, eventually the, the text will scroll all the way. There we go. Yeah, so Edge's Tale is kind of weird. Uh, we actually get a lot of new party members in it, but it, his tale is, is functionally pretty weird. We start with a boss fight against uh, Gekko, Izioi, Sikanawa, and Zangetsu. Uh, they're easy. <laughs> Just auto attack. Nothing to it, really. Yeah, simple enough. There's really nothing to that. They only have like, I don't know, 150 or 200 HP each, so they all die in one hit. Yeah, we get, you know, four new characters with portraits, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, you have lost a lot of levels there. Ouch, Sukunawa. I mean, isn't he supposed to be training you? Oh, I guess they begged him to. Oh yeah, we saw uh, at least two of these people in uh, Interlude. I forget which two. I, I think Gekko and Sengetsu? I don't remember though. Sure. Whatever, Izioi. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, error of peace, and nothing, nothing could bad, you know, nothing bad could ever happen. Especially a woman your age. Oh my God, Edge, really? Oh, Tsukinawa is male, by the way. I, I know, I know. Doesn't look like it, but he is. Shockingly, Edge isn't really. Well, I guess there's only one woman for Edge, and that's Rydia, and, well, she's shown him no interest, so, you know, he's doomed to be single forever, I guess. But at least he's got good taste in women, I guess. I mean, if you could, uh, you know, be with the most powerful summoner in the history of the world, I mean, wouldn't you? Oh, I, uh, I fixed, I changed my filter a little bit so that I, you know, my voice is picked up better when I talk lower. Sometimes it would cut off a couple of words here and there. Not too bad, but you know, I figure I'd, I'd fix it. Uh oh, the moon came back. That's not good. Yeah, so this is very early on. This is before like basically anything happened. I mean, I don't know. You give yourself a heart attack, then who would pester me? Oh God. I love Edge. See? <laughs> you call me that. What, you worried about, uh, Baron? Probably. I think they'd probably be pretty upset. Actually, Eblon doesn't have a crystal. They're the only kingdom that doesn't, so why would Baron even care about them? Kind of weird, actually. I'm going on a bit of business. Yeah, go watch the castle. I mean, Reckless is his uh, middle name, so <laughs> it is Edge. Uh, now, you, there's some shops and stuff here. There's no music, by the way. Yeah, it's creepy. The only thing I'd even consider is uh, a boomerang, and I don't think it's worthwhile. Oh, yep. Been supporting Rydia behind the scenes, which makes sense. There's no way to really farm for money either, so... Oh, well. Yeah, all this stuff is super expensive, so... Ain't nothing we can do there. 
Now, as for Edge, he has some pretty good starting equipment. Uh, you could actually uh, strip him of his equipment and uh, use it for later in the tail, but uh, that's really cheating, so I'll just take a look at what they got here. I don't remember. Not going to buy anything. No, no, nothing useful. There's a save point down there on the lower left. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't. I mean, maybe they're implying she has some sort of crush on Edge, but I don't think that's that's ever stated anywhere. I, I just don't think she's that interested in relationships. Uh, anyway, we wanna. We're in the West Tower here, so there's a secret passage east of this door. Fortunately, none of these chests are guarded this time, so that's good. Upstairs, we can go ahead and uh, go here, get a phoenix down. Now, there is a secret passage down here. I'll show it to you, I guess. There's nothing over here. There's no reason to go over here, but if you want to get to Edge's room, well, here you are. But yeah, you can't even use the bed, so... There's literally no point to this room. Kind of silly, actually, but no, that's the way it is. Get back here. That's all that's uh, here in this tower, so let's go to the next tower. Oops, no, we can't go under there. We have to loop around. I did that the first, first time I was practicing, too. That's funny. Anyway, behind this pillar is uh, an eye drop. It's a little tricky to get to, but there you go. Now we can uh, go upstairs. Not much else left to get, so, uh, oops. Gotta go down below the stairs or you'll enter them again. Ether, potion, I don't think there's anything in the pots. No. We got a chest here, which is an antidote. Go down here, get this chest. Now step off, step back on, turn right, get that chest. Boom, there you go. That's all the treasures in here. So, now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and, uh... Oh, right, I was like, wait, why, why is there no sound? Well, there's no sound in, in this part of the, part of the, uh, game. Look, I'm not used to that, okay? Anyway, uh, let's leave, but if you want to make it really easy, unequip Edge, but... I don't want to do that. I want to do it as intended. Yeah, where are you going, Edge? Oh, it's all your apprentices. Oh, there's actually five characters in this tale, and they're not, you know, Monk A and Monk B and Monk C. I know, amazing, isn't it? Oh, you want to do a recon mission? All right. Yeah, yeah, he's lying, obviously. Well, the moon is here, so... You know... Anyway, we're gonna do a recon mission, I guess, with everybody. And, you know, the tower's here, and it's it's just being a tower. I mean, what else is new? What is it? Don't oh, don't die. Now, what Edge is saying here actually matters. He is not kidding in this version of the game. If you die in this tale during this little mini tale section, that character you die with perma dies like a Fire Emblem game. So anyway, uh, you can do these in any order, but the moon phase is fixed. 
So the recommended order is what I'm going to be doing. Or at least this is the order I recommend. Let's start with Easy UI for the wa waxing moon. Uh, even if we rest at the end, it won't change the moon phase. So yes, uh, if Easy UI were to die in this mission, uh, say I die in a, in a random battle, uh, she will be dead permanently. And any story sequence that would involve her would just be skipped. Gotta be like the only time a Final Fantasy game has done like permadeath like that. Where just a car a party member can just die in battle and just permanently die. Well, I guess some epops are doing some training. I don't know why Leonora is not doing training here. I guess because she's already gone through all the trainee training. I do like their little trainee dresses though. They look cute. In the sprite work. Ah, spiritual fortitude? Cleanse yourselves with cold water and wash away distractions? Um, okay. That sounds weird. Oh, Baron's deployed the airship fleet again? Uh-oh. Yeah, this is long before, you know, Palm did the stuff with Leonora. Ah, uh, right. So Leonora's already done all this stuff. She's about to take the final exam, which is obviously the, the trial. So this is before Leonora has gone to the Tower of Trials. Well, that's weird. Why does a new pop need black magic? Well, well, we've established that in Palum's Tale. Yeah, get to the pond already. Uh, I don't know. I mean, who are you, trainee? I mean, do we know you? I mean, I don't remember being, uh, you know, seeing you before here when we were walking around as pal. I'm, well, yeah, it's easy, anyway, obviously. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at what she starts with. She's got uh, Kadachi, Leather Cap, Foot Ninja Gear, which up speed by one. Uh, she has, well, she's pretty crappy right now, but she has uh, Ninjutsu and Illusions. Illusions is weird because it's... It confuses only one enemy, and it's not very good. Oh, hey, it's Palum. How's it going? Yeah, well, you're one of the EPOP trainees. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. What, what, what do you mean, Palum? <laughs> no, you women you can be scary sometimes. What are you talking about, Porum or something? How you plot things while putting up that pretty face of yours? Jeez, Palum. No wonder you're single. That's what we're good at, sir. Oh, God. Scary. I love how... <laughs> how, uh... Easy I literally just completely turns that around on him. Which is hilarious. Anyway, you wanna go ahead and get something here. Get some eye drops. Oh, yeah. Get it? Because the guy's a pig? Ah, uh, literally. Oh, yeah. One of the new girls. No, we can't follow the dream, sadly. Oh well. Yeah, we can uh, get the ether here again. I don't know why we can get it. I'm guessing it's some sort of holdover that they forgot to remove from Palum's tail, but you know, whatever. I don't think we'll even. Oh yeah, you have to talk to her. Say hello to everybody if I can. I don't like doing this. Oh, got those. At least I got them kind of corralled in one side here. Come here. Okay, that's all. Get an ether for our efforts. 
I really do like this dress that Izzy always wears. It's too bad that she doesn't, you don't have the option to keep it on her. Because I think it looks really good on her. Anyway, uh, let's go to the pond, because that's where the last uh, treasures are. Oops, what'd you say? Uh, okay, cool. Oops. Uh, she, they said, uh, you're the last one here. I forgot the cutscene starts when you get on the stairs. Trust me, that's what they said. I'm not going to re-record for that one line of dialogue. I don't even think we'll even get to the, the dungeon. But that's okay. This is kind of weird for uh, hip-hop training. Sharpen your heart and soul as you concentrate. Okay. She's not kidding. If you move, you get yelled at. So don't move. After she says begin. I love how easy is not even really doing it because she's probably done stuff like this so much that it doesn't affect her at all, which is hilarious. Like this is probably nothing to her. Of course, the fact that they're doing this kind of training, yeah, is uh Probably unusual. Since hip hops are more, uh, you know, political figures. Okay. There we go. Once they leave, we can actually move. Yeah, obviously they built the tower. So the tower is recently built. That's why it wasn't in FF4. But yeah, we want to go in here because we can get... Uh, oh, we get a potion. Ether. High potion. And then what I really need is the 300 gil, which I absolutely need. Well, she says the exact same thing she did in Palm's Tale. That's the last of the treasures here. Oh yeah, so this this training is not is uh unusual. Yeah, they're training them to be prepared to go through the tower basically. If needed, if Leonora were to fail, obviously. Of course, she doesn't. We we know this, but you know. And we want to go in the, here, and we want to buy the holy arrows. Uh, make sure you buy this. This is the only time you can buy it. Uh, and we do want it for later. It can be useful. We also want to pick up a. We can't get it now, but we do want to pick up a silver armlet. I guess if you can you buy. You no, know, I don't think we have anything that would sell for enough to, to get it now. No, you'd have to come back later. But we will come back later to get it. Uh, too bad we don't find a remedy here, because that would sell for enough, but oh well. Uh, there's very little arm gear, basically, which is why I want to buy it. So yeah, once we leave town, I think... Oh, no, we're still wearing this dress. Okay. There's no enemies or anything on the world map, probably because they didn't want to design a battle sprite with this outfit. Yeah, that's it for here. Uh... Basically, there's some holy enemies that are or we enemies weak to holy later on in the game. It's not useful right now, but it will be eventually. Uh, nope, I gotta go up further. There it is. Same items that were found in Palum's Tale. There we go. Found a potion. Oh, uh, I guess I should explain Easy Oi a little bit here. Uh, while, you know, we head to the Tower Trials. Uh, she's a late bloomer, basically. Uh, she makes an excellent backup healer. She gets better healing than any of the other ninjas, including Edge. Uh, she even gets a revive spell. Uh, and she has uh, ice-based ninjutsu. 
her, her, her uh, illusions isn't very good, unfortunately, but... She kind of has a reputation for being the weakest party member in... Or the weakest of the Evalon 4, like the worst of them. Uh, but no, she's actually just a late bloomer. And, you know, she's got good intellect, good spirit, uh, so she's a good healer. Uh, makes good use of her ice spells. Uh, and, you know, emergency revive and a great backup healer, so... Plus, you know, she uses whips, bows, and uh, katanas. Katanas aren't very good for her, but bows and whips are. I mean, leave her in the back row. She's pretty survivable as a backup healer, so... Yeah, she's surprisingly good. Uh, pretty versatile. Now, if you're playing the 3D version of the game, Steam version, she is excellent because her bows count as dual wielding. She might even be better than Edge in that version of the Eblon, like counting the entire Eblon 5, she might be the best one because of that. Edge is a bit more versatile, but she is way more powerful when it comes to uh, her physical attacks. But that's not the case in this version, but she's still pretty good in the long run. Just she's not very good in the tail, sadly, but in the long run, in the final tail, if you actually invest in her, she is quite good. But yeah, we're going to uh, end here. I think I saved. Yeah. And next time, we'll go through the uh, Tower of Trials. Yeah, this is Rise. Thanks for watching. Take care.